Hello everyone! Today we are putting three AI models to the test in Python coding. We are giving them two programming challenges and comparing their results. The first challenge – build a simple Minecraft-style game in Pygame. The second – simulate 10 balls bouncing inside a fast-spinning hexagon. Which AI will deliver the best code and which one will fail miserably? Let's find out! The contenders are O3 Mini High, Claude Sanet 3.7 and Grok 3. Let's see how they did. Challenge 1 – Simple Minecraft Game Prompt – Build me a very simple Minecraft game using Pygame in Python. Alright, let's see what O3 Mini High came up with. This AI generated a very basic Minecraft-like game. The world consists of grass and dirt blocks. We have a simple player character that can move left and right and even jump. There is gravity, meaning the player falls if there is no ground below. There is cool feature – you can click on blocks to mine them. But there is no way to place blocks back – we can only mine. All three mini highs game works, but it's only half a Minecraft experience. Let's see if Claw 3.7 can do better. Now Claw 3.7's version takes things up a notch. We still have basic terrain with grass and dirt, but now there is also stone and coal blocks. This AI added an inventory system, so when we mine a block it gets stored. And even better, we can place blocks back. It also includes a hotkey system, so I can press 1 to 4 to select different block types. Overall, Claw 3.7 did the best job in this challenge. It feels more like an actual game. Now Grok 3's attempt is very basic. It generates some terrain, allows movement and has mining. But that's about it. The worst part – there is no gravity, the player can just float around. It runs, but this doesn't really feel like a game. I can move freely, no gravity at all. Mining is kind of glitchy, and there is no way to place blocks back. Grok 3's version feels more like a demo than a playable game. Definitely the weakest attempt. Now let's move on to our second challenge. Prompt – write me a Python script for 10 balls inside a fast-spinning hexagon. All three mini highs code is really solid here. It correctly calculates hexagon rotation and ball movement. Balls are bouncing correctly inside. It even uses vector math for proper collision detection, so the balls bounce realistically. No weird fizzy glitches, everything looks smooth. This one is looking great. O3 Mini High is off to a strong start. Now Claude 3.7 made some improvements. It added energy loss, so the boss actually slowed down over time instead of bouncing forever. And here is a big upgrade – it handles ball-to-ball -ball collisions, so balls can bounce off each other, not just the hexagon walls. This might be even better than O3 Mini High's version. Claude 3.7 takes the lead again – it just feels more polished. Finally, Grok 3's attempt – and yeah, this one is rough. It has basic ball movement, but the physics are totally off. Balls sometimes clip through the hexagon and the rotation is less stable. Some of the balls just flow out. Collisions aren't accurate, this feels messy. It kind of works, but not very well. Grok 3 really struggled here, definitely the weakest attempt again. Alright, let's declare some winners. Best Minecraft game – Claude Sanet 3.7 More gameplay, mechanics, better terrain and an actual inventory. Best physics simulation – Claude Sanet 3.7 It nailed the ball collisions and energy loss. Overall, Claude Sanet 3.7 is the clear winner – it delivered the most impressive results in both challenges. What should we test next? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next AI coding battle. Join my Telegram channel for exclusive coding tips and tricks. See you next time!